if you work in excel you must be aware how painful dirty data is and it's really a challenging task to analyze dirty data and here data cleaning really plays an important role in today's video we will see few data cleaning tips and tricks which will really ease your job hi my name is vijay and you are watching office mom let's start the video without any delays this is the data in which I have got name of some employees. I want to put first name and last name in two different cells. If I will be doing it manually, it's going to take lots of time. So what we will have to do, we will have to type first name over here and last name over here. Now we will have to come in the cell just below the name and we will have to give the command and the command will be control E. All the names will be filled through flash fill. Here also we will have to give the command control E and all the details will be filled through flash fill. This is the data in which I have got all the details in single column. So we have to divide company name in voice number, region, client name and items. We will have to type company name over here. So company name is Samsung, in voice number 201, region, east, client name is Albert and items, item is mobile. Here also we will be giving the command control E and all the things will be filled through flash fill. You will notice that after Samsung we got name of Apple then Sony, Vivo, JBL and like that. Invoice number control E, region control E, client name control E and items control E. So all the things got filled within seconds through our flash fill command. These are few numbers which we want to convert in percentage. If we will be going by old school way means if we will be dividing all the numbers by 100 and if we will be doing formatting, it will take some time as well as few steps will be involved. What we will have to do? We will have to type 1% over here. Now we will copy this, control C and we will select this data. We will right click the mouse and we will be going in paste special. Over here we will get option of operations, we will select multiply and we will do ok. You will notice that all the numbers got converted in percentage. Now we can delete this. So our data is ready now. We can see a format over here in which data from few cells are missing. We can see here it's blank, here it's blank, here it's blank and so on. With missing data, it's really very challenging to analyze. So it would be better to remove the blank cells. We will have to select all the data and we will press function F5. Here a box will pop up. We will click on special. Here we will get option of blanks. We will click on OK. Now we will press control minus and we will select entire row. We will press OK or we will click OK and you will notice that all the blank cells got removed from here and our data is ready to analyze. This is the data in which I have got some blank cells and I can't analyze the data without those figures. Either I will have to delete the blank cells or I will have to ask my employees to refill the data and send me again. But it's really a challenging task to check where the data is missing. Now I'll have to insert any special character in the blanks and will have to send back to my employees so that they can easily know where they have to fill the data. We will select all the data. We will press function F5. We will press special or we will click on special. We will select blanks and we will do OK. You will notice that all the blanks got highlighted in grey but one blank is in white and this is the master blank. We will come in our formula bar and we will put a special character over here. I will put missing. Now you don't have to click outside the box. You have to give a command and that is control enter. You will notice that missing got filled everywhere. Now we have to go in home, conditional formatting, highlight cell rule, equal to and we will type missing over here. We will do OK. So all the missing word got highlighted in red. Now my employees will know where the data is missing. Once they will fill the data, the red part will be or red color will be vanished. I'll put my name over here and you will notice that the red color or red highlight part got vanished. Now I will send this to my employees and they can fill the data easily. This is the data in which all the details are just in a single column and the interesting fact is different data is in different cells which can't be managed by flash fill. So we will have to use the different technique over here. We will click over here in the company name. We will click plus or equal to. We will select the company name. We will do enter. We will come in invoice number plus or equal to. We will select the invoice number. Enter. 
region plus or equal to we will select this enter items plus or equal to items enter client's name plus or equal to and we will select client's name enter now we have to select this and we will have to drag this till down we will have to leave this selected and we have to give a command that is function f5 a box will pop up and here we have to select special we will click on blanks and we will do ok now we have to give another command that is control minus and we have to select shift cells up not the entire row or not the entire column now we will click on ok and you will notice that all the data got managed very well in the cells now we will have to select all this Control C or Command C and we have to paste special over here. Paste special values. Now if we want, we can delete this thing and our data is very proper. This is the data of monthly sales in which I have got some figures. But you will notice that before few figures, comma is inserted. Few figures are in text format due to which I am not able to analyze the data properly. And the figures over here means some total is wrong. We have to use a very simple technique over here. We will type 1 in a cell. We will have to copy this. Control C or Command C. We will have to select the whole data. We have to right click the mouse. Paste special. And from here, we will go in operations and we will select multiply and we will do OK. You will notice that the sum total, which was something 49, now it's nearly 70. So all the data got managed very well and the comma, which was in the very beginning or the few numbers which were in text format got totally removed. This is the data in which we have got product along with monthly sales and sales target. But few items and their sales got inserted twice by mistake. Such as mobile, we can see mobile over here. Watch, watch is over here, means it's repeated. Now we will have to remove all the duplicate entries. We will select all the data. We will be going in conditional formatting, highlight cell rule and we will click on duplicate values. We will do OK. So all the duplicate values got highlighted. Now we will go in data and here you will find an option of remove duplicates. We will click over here. We will do OK. Here we will get an alert. 7 duplicate values found and removed. 13 unique values remain. We will do OK. And all the duplicate values got removed. We will delete this. And our data is very proper now. This data was compiled by my new employee. It seems that he needs some training on Excel. The data is looking very shabby. First of all, we will have to clear all the formatting part. We will select this, Control C and we will paste over here just to check how our data will be looking before and after the formatting part. We will select all this. We will go in home and on the right hand side, we will get an icon of eraser. We have to click on drop down and we have to click on clear formats. So all the formats got removed. Now we have to give a command that is control T. A box will pop up and on the top it will be written create table. We have to do OK. So our table got created over here. We will select this once again and over here we will be going in table. From here we can change the color of the tables. So now we can compare what the data we got and how our data is looking now. This is the dirty data in which I got name of few people. You will notice that there is lots of space either in the beginning or in the middle of the name. Even few names and the surnames are starting with small letter. Let's do some magic to make it proper. We will click over here means in the next cell and we will give a formula that will be plus or equal to trim. Bracket open. We will select this bracket close and we will do enter we will drag this till end so all the blanks got removed from the beginning or from the mid part but still the first name and surnames are in small letters now we have to insert another formula that is proper plus or equal to proper bracket open we will select this bracket close and we will do enter we will drag this till end and this thing got managed now we have to select this control c or command c and we have to paste over here Paste special values. We will select this and we will delete this. So our employee list is created very properly now. This is a data which is not in a form of a table. Our motto is to create a proper table along with drop downs and insert color scaling as well as data bars. We will select all the data and we will be giving a command control T. A box will pop up and here we have to click on OK. So our table is created now along with drop downs. We can select color from here. 
Now we have to insert color scales and color bars in our achieved cells. Now we will select the achieved cells. We will be going in home and then conditional formatting. From here we will be going to color scales and we will select any color scale over here. So our color scaling is done. Now we will be going to conditional formatting once again and from here we will select data bars. Our data bars got inserted over here. We will take this in left. We will increase the size and you will notice that our achieved sales is showing along with color scaling and data bars. I'm sure you must have loved the video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you soon with a new topic till then. Bye-bye.